Outside the Alamo. We saw the movie last night. Ooh, this is the Crockett Hotel. One star. Approach from the mall. Hey, squirrel. Hey, squirrel. That looks fun. Yeah, nice tree. <laughs> it's not very big. All dressed up for Christmas. Eighteen thirty six battle. Oops, sorry. So we're outside the church now. This is a side entrance to the church. You're not allowed to take pictures inside the church. Um, okay. So here we are. And uh, let's see. So on that side, I think there's some uh, what they call the long barracks. And then uh, we'll just go explore and I'll try to figure out what everything was later. Oh! So this is on the side of the church. This is the gift shop. It went up in 1936. So it was not here at the time of the war. This is the Essequoia? Essequoia? It's the irrigation ditch. <laughs> the living history encampment. So again, that's the church. That's where I exited. That's the gift shop. This is the irrigation ditch. And then I'm facing this way. Living history encampment. Okay, a different perspective. That's the church. And this is the line to get into the church. This is the garden outside of the church. That is the research center and I guess it's Alamo Hall, which looks pretty small for a hall. But those I think are newer. They're not on the map that's depicted inside the um, church. This is the encampment tents, I suspect for two. It's another tent. Wow. 
Since my family's only bought one. Two. So they had to share it. One what? Toothbrush. Oh. <laughs> How many pictures does you want? Okay, a toothbrush. But those were 38 cents. And that was a lot of money. It is. Because I can go, this is 12 and a half cents. Uh, and that, that buys me an acre of Texas land. Oh, cool. So you would actually cut up the... Yeah. So you, this is the Spanish Ariel, so this is why people love to come to Texas. And then when you go buy something, you need to get changed. Uh -huh. Well, I can cut it in half. Now we have a half dollar. Half I can dollar. Take that, I can cut that up and give you quarters. A quarter? Oh well, my gosh. I can gosh. cut those up and give you that 12 and a half cents. And they also like 12 and a half cents for people coming from England. Wow. Because they're used to the shilling. And a shilling is 12 and a half cents. Huh. Now we wouldn't have the American dollar if it wasn't for the Spanish dollar. Oh, wow. And both an ounce of silver and everything. Fascinating. Three everything months. Everything you need for three months. Yeah. Did you ever change your clothes? I do. <laughs> all you own is two pairs. One pair you're wearing and my other pairs in here. Can I, I open pants. this? Oh, this is just my, my compass. Oh, compass. Uh, just so cool. I don't get lost. Yeah. If it wants to open. Sometimes it gets stuck. I like the little handiwork. Uh, don't get too close to your electronics. <laughs> <laughs> your soap. Yeah, my lye soap. Lye. Um, soap is always made mm. from lye and some kind of animal fat. Handmade soap. It always um, depends on how many animals you had at home uh -huh. and how many candles. Now, two combs. This is for my hair. Uh, this is so I can get the lice and fleas out of my hair. Because mm, everybody's got to yep. have a lice comb. So that's why and you want short hair and no facial hair. No facial hair because you're going to get it on your cheeks. Yep. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And what's that? This is my fire starting kit. Um, Ooh. Now, you also have, have matches. Of course, they're not called matches in the 1830. They're called lucifers. Lucifers. Yep. Wow. So you can start a fire using oh, yay. just a Wait piece of glass. Okay. And some leaves, dried leaves. Or I can use flint and steel. Ooh. Nice. Can I see? Yeah. So this That's is... my striker. Wow, look and at that. And a piece of flint. So beautiful. Flint. Oh. And where do you get flint around these parts? You would find it in quarries oh. or mines. Oh. Uh, not right around here in San Antonio. You'll probably have to go a little westward or eastward. Oh, I love all these, these old little, little things. Yeah. The other gentleman here can't see, oh. so that's why he has glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cool. Hmm. You can have a loop so you can carry it around your mm -hmm. neck. They did that, didn't they? they did. Carried it around their neck. Hmm. My ink. Mm, powdered ink. And my candle to read and write at night. Um, so uh. when I light it, it reflects off the back. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And of course my pen. Yeah. Your pen? It is my pen. It's a quill oh. pen. So it gets dull all the time. So that's why I always carry a sharp knife to sharpen it. Hmm. Um, and for kids at school, it's required that when they do their lessons that they always have a knife with them. Because if you didn't bring a knife to school, you were sent <laughs> home. <laughs> now it's you, the other way around. <laughs> because you can't do your lessons. Right, right, right. To do, right? Mm -hmm. Corn cob float. Yeah, so you can make a hook out of lead, um, or you can just get a piece of wood called a, this is called a toggle hook, and you sharpen both edges. A toothpick, and right? And then you would just attach it to your hand line, a hook, and just oh. toss it in the water. Nice, huh? Is that how? What's his name? Did it? Tom Sawyer. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. This is huh. the kings are our American presidents. That's interesting. Indian chief, the Greek, Jack, goddesses. Greek goddesses, American presence. American presence, cool. And no numbers on the no cards. No numbers, yep. Now also... Is that because people had trouble reading anyway? Yep. Oh. And also, um, when you go eat, um, uh -huh. before the Revolutionary War, mm -hmm. it's, it was very proper in how to eat. You could eat always with your left hand uh -huh. and cut with your right. Right. But again, after the Revolutionary War, we don't want to be anywhere like England. So now we're going to switch. Oh. So this is why everyone eats today. Americans with eat with their right hand. Really? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's why. And then look at this spoon. 
So of course, if you didn't want to bring utensils, you can always just go to the blacksmith and have a make up. A little uh, fork is That's very it. cute. Very attractive. A spork! Mm -hmm. That's where spork Fashion backpack. The biscuit was called a worm castle. Yeah. Okay, to put it into perspective, that is the church. This is the entrance that we saw as we entered the church. This is the long barrack in front of here. Okay, looks like there's a well. Hmm. The long barrack. Doesn't seem that long. The ruins of the habitations of the friars and Indians, refractory kitchen, and other regular offices. In the second patio, there was the gallery with weaving rooms and rooms of storing materials and utensils. The habitations of the Indians formed a large plaza and square with the church and convent. Through the middle of the plaza ran an asequoia with various trees on its banks, but in case hostile Indians might cut off the ditch, a well was dug inside the convent, from which all inhabitants could get an abundant supply of water. That's the well. Title to the Alamo Mission property acquired through her efforts and her personal fortune was conveyed by Clara Driscoll to the state of Texas. September 5th, 5th, 1905. So this is the church entrance we came in. This is the side exit we came out of. That's the Asakoya. That's where the living campsite is. And then we came back out here. And I think here is where we are in this uh, long barracks right here. Okay, perspective. This area has been taken over by the city. Houston Street this way, Alamo Street this way, Christmas tree right here, and there's a statue over here. This is the exit from the long barracks. Display, cannon, cannon. very big. Looks like about a four inch diameter. This one's bigger. This is probably a six inch diameter. 